Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Neil Urquhart of Fulton Parish Church in Irvine. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament and friends in the gallery, did you hear the one about Irvine's Protestant minister, Roman Catholic priest and Buddhist journalist? The minister being me, the Roman Catholic priest, Father Willie, and the Buddhist journalist, Sandy. Father Willie and I have made numerous humorous anti-sectarian short films in which some of you, in fact, have starred. And the Scottish government supported. Known as the Good News Shoes Brothers, many have joined our community celebrating dance to halt hatred and build bridges. Recently, we were blue in Greenock Prison arrested for bad dad and, in Molly's case, bad father dancing, but able to unite the prison community against sectarianism. In Sandy, our local Buddhist journalist, we've a great ally in spreading the barrier-breaking message. Indeed, we found allies in people of faith and no faith, all delighted to promote peace in a world where division, bitterness and hatred sell papers. I differ from Sandy on things like history, time, and death, but we share many values. I evangelically believe Christ is the sole saviour by which we humans can be saved and through whom we find life in its fullness. But sports chaplain experience in the Athletes Village of Delhi 2010, London 2012, and Glasgow 2014 taught me the strength of diversity with a common goal. In Glasgow 2014's Religion and Belief Centre, or RABC as I prefer to call it, chaplains from the major world religions combined to provide spiritual and pastoral support for athletes and their staff. The ability to eat and laugh together is a great icebreaker. We did not deny serious differences, but grew mutual respect and desire to build people up. Rather, than undermine them. You don't need religious faith to bless and encourage people. In Irvine, we have a growing movement in philosophy called giving something back, uniting people of faith and no faith in the voluntary service of others. It's true, isn't it, that we humans are at our best and most fulfilled when caring for, helping and supporting others in need. In Irvine, like the rest of Scotland, more and more people are falling through the cracks, the caring cracks, unable to make ends meet or face the future. And I have no political axe to grind, simply a call for us together, whatever our political, religious, and philosophical angles, to unite in serving the interests of the most vulnerable in our land and world, putting aside self-interest and differences, to unite in a one plus one equals three synergy. The mnemonic, T-E-A-M, team spells it well, doesn't it? Together, everyone achieves more. Thank you, presiding officer.